KnuckleJunkies.com here with Steve Berger. Steve, uh, busy man as of late. You got a, you got a fight coming up uh, here April 7th, and then uh, – just word recently about you uh, changing new gyms. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, no, no rest for the wicked, you know. So uh, it's kind of one of those things. This 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 gym's been good to me, but unfortunately, we just don't have enough space yeah. for it. You know, I can't grow here. So had an opportunity to go to uh, to a bigger place. Uh, the contract was ending here, so we just we went ahead and uh, we pulled the trigger, and we're we're going for it. So. Not, not too far of a move, right? I mean, no, you're saying no. pretty local. Kept it uh, pretty much right across yeah. the street here. So bigger area right across the street, you know. And uh, just from some some of the photos you already have up on Facebook, I mean, obviously a lot bigger area gives you a lot more options to do all right. sorts of fitness things, it seems like. Right, absolutely. And, uh, you know, it, it, the, the photos on Facebook, uh, of course, you're seeing a lot of the demo that we're doing. Yeah. Uh, I'll be in there working for quite a while. But uh, like, like we said earlier, no rest for the wicked, yeah. you know. Speaking of that, uh, Scott Cleave, right, coming up, uh, pretty good wrestler from what I understand. Just uh, kind of what's the uh, kind of what, what's the rundown on him? Uh, you know, looks very good wrestler. Uh, uh, looks like he's decent hands, decent jujitsu. Uh, I expect nothing less. You know, I can't get uh, can't get an easy fight. So yeah. and, and and it's no fun if they just fall down anyway. So yeah. so you know, it's kind of one of those things where. I'm, uh, I've been training, uh, been working my wrestling, working my uh, cardio, and working my hands yeah. uh, along with my jiu-jitsu, and uh, I hope to show that I'm, I'm not just a jiu-jitsu fighter yeah. stepping in there. And uh, I'm, gonna, I'm sure you've had a look, uh, chance to look at the card, but, I mean, it looks like a pretty uh, great night of amateur and pro stuff. Can you kind of talk about the card? Oh, absolutely. I, I, you can't go wrong with Jake Collier on there. Yeah. You know? <laughs> I mean, what a, what a beast that kid is. Yeah. So, and... Uh, uh, you know, Patrick always has done well with putting the best fighters yeah. on the cards, and, and this card's no different, yeah. you know. Well, and kind of like you talked, you know, moving to the uh, new school because you got so many fighters here. I mean, any, any guys, some of these guys got some fights coming up or anything you kind of want to pull up, plug for them? Uh, Johans Flagger, who's uh, getting ready to fight. Uh, uh, actually, Johans Flagger, he always gets mad whenever I <laughs> to say it yeah, wrong. Right. But uh, Johans Flagger's fighting uh, May 18th, I yeah. believe, on Jim Jenkins' card. Uh, I've got Chris Heatherly that's also fighting May 18th. Yeah. Uh, Chris is a standout wrestler, uh, uh, very, coming along very well with his jiu-jitsu. Uh, his hands are really coming along well, too. I expect him to make kid, a man. yeah powerful kid. I expect him to make an explosion. You yeah. know, he's been, been a real good training partner for me as well. Uh, and I have a slew of just very good amateurs. Yeah. Uh, Matt Bethel getting ready to make his uh, debut. Richie Fernow, just an amazing, amazing little fighter. Got uh, yeah. pro Dan O'Connor as well right. at 125. I could go on and on <laughs> with all the guys yeah. I have. And so, uh, you know, how are things, you know, depending on how things go in April, just kind of reevaluate after that, or yeah, you know, I mean, uh, I, I'm I'm looking at uh, looking at this fight like it's do or die. You yeah. know, I, I know I'm older. I'm 38 years old, and I know uh, uh, I've been in the sport a long time. Right. Things haven't gone my way uh, uh, like I'd like them to the past. Uh, uh, several years yeah. here so it's kind of one of those things I trained hard for this one if I can't pull this one off it's time for me to just be a coach yeah. uh, but, but I've got other plans